Hey guys, it's Nisha. Welcome back to another mini vlog. Um, and also welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back if you've clicked on my videos before. Um, I am, it's Monday and um, I have a, a few errands to run um, to return my kids um, library books and then um, I am attempting to do like power bowls for lunch this week, so I need to go get some things. I have quinoa, um, I have one pack of salmon, but I do want to maybe pick up another pack of salmon or some type of fish to put in my power bowl. Um, I do have chicken, but I'm trying to also um, include more seafood versus chicken in my diet. So I'm gonna do that this morning. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go to Aldi or if I'm gonna go to Lidl. Um, and then hopefully if time permits, I'll swing by Target and I want to get some of the salad bowls to put the power bowl in. So what I'm thinking that I want, this is my work stuff, but what, I, what I'm thinking that um, I want to get is like spinach, some peppers, maybe some tomatoes, um, what else? Maybe like a dressing to like drizzle over top and um oh some avocados. Like I just want to make like uh like power bowls this week. Um and kind of ease up on like the processed food. I just want to kind of do like the most the least amount of processed foods this week. And because I'm curious to see how my body reacts. So yeah, um um I made a list. I'm gonna hopefully, I'm either going to, if I have time, I'll swing by and get it myself, or I might do a Instacart order. Um, just depends on, on timing. Um, I do prefer to um, pick out my own produce because sometimes the people who like, Instacart is great for other things, but a lot of times they don't pick out the best produce. So I'm gonna try and pick out my own produce. I have a meeting at, I have a meeting in about an hour and 20 minutes. So I'm gonna see how much I can get done in that time frame and go from there. But um, if I'm successful with everything from my Power Bowl, um, I will feel myself making that and how it turned out and um, So I'm back from Aldi. I stopped by Aldi and I also stopped by Target um, to get the bowls. Hold on, where's the bowls? Oh, I'll grab them later. But uh, this is like the healthy hauls and things I'm gonna eat like throughout for lunch throughout the week. Um, stopped by Aldi. I got some pineapple chunks. I make a salad with. Pineapple chunks, strawberries, and blackberries. Got the blackberries yesterday from another grocery store. Uh, picked up some peaches. And for my Power Bowl, picked up some avocado. 
picked up some spinach. Oranges, because my kids love some oranges. Picked up some honey crisp apples. And then I picked up a few, a couple of these shrimp skewers. I get them from Aldi. This is in the citrus herb. You just defrost them and um, put them in the oven for a little bit. And I'm going to use this to put in my power bowl. But um, they're about seven bucks, I think. Um, but really easy. You just thaw them out or defrost them in the microwave and then pop them in the oven. I got a few of those. Got some mini cucumbers. Got some great tomatoes for my power bowl. And picked up some strawberries from Target. I did pick up this green goddess dressing. Um, there was another one, that was another brand, but I decided to try this one first to see how I like it. And then depending on if I like it or not, I will um, try the other brand. Also picked up some crispy onion um, salad toppers. I got crispy onion and I got wonton strips. I felt that might be a nice touch to throw on my power bowl. And the queso is not for the Power Bowl, but um, my kids like snacking on this and we use this for taco night. So I just picked up some more of that. I did pick up these Kodiak cake um, or Kodiak kind of like graham crackers and the honey flavor. I've never had these before, but I do want to try them. Sometimes I get a little snacky um, and I'm trying to snack on things that aren't so bad for me. Um, these, what does this say? I'm trying to get it to focus here. So it's 15. Oh my gosh. It won't focus, but uh it's 15 pieces for 120 calories. There we go. 120 calories for 15 cookies. Uh, and here are the ingredients. So not not too bad. At least there's no enriched flour. And then I got these uh, in cookie butter. They're soft cookies. They're gluten-free. And um, this, I believe you get three cookies for 140 calories. So um, I like to have like cookies or something with my coffee. So again, just trying to get something that's not, you know, so bad for me. Like not Oreos, you know. And then I just picked up these uh, hangers for my daughter for her skirts. Um, I use them as well, and I get them from Target. They are four dollars each, so you get two hangers for four bucks. Right, these are the bowls I picked up from Target. These are, I guess, like a salad bowl. Um, they they're calling them a dinner bowl, but I felt like it would be good to put the power bowl in this or. Um, like pasta so it doesn't run off your plate so picked up a couple of these they were four dollars each and this is by the project 62 brand so now i'm just going to show you guys what i'm going to put in my bowl and go ahead and eat All right, this is the quinoa I picked up from Walmart. It's just uh, white quinoa. So I'm gonna make that um, and put that in my power bowl as well. So here's everything I'm going to be putting in my bowl. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and boil a few eggs. I did boil about four. Um, that way it'll last me for the next few days uh, for lunches. So after I got the eggs on, I did go ahead and put my quinoa on because these two will probably take the longest to cook. Um, and the quinoa was actually really easy. It was two cups of water, one cup of quinoa, which at first I thought it wasn't gonna be enough, but it was more than enough. Um, in my water, I didn't put salt. I did um, use some better than bouillon. I guess it's like a paste, but um, I like it. It 
kind of when you put it in the water it makes like a chicken broth so this way I don't have to constantly have to um, I don't constantly have to buy chicken broth I can just buy the better than bouillon it stays in my fridge um, it can you know live in the fridge for a while and then whenever I need chicken broth I just add it to water and it tastes really well no extra salt it is seasoned very well trust me you don't need any salt when you use this So now I'm going to go ahead and get my shrimp skewers in the oven. Um, again, these are the ones I picked up from Aussie. And once they defrost, you just go ahead and pop them in the oven. I'm putting foil down for an easy cleanup, of course. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna put these skewers in the oven on the foil and spray them with olive oil or pan, whatever you have on hand, and pop them in the oven for three at 350 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes. Okay guys, so I did have to pull my shrimp back out the oven. They had only cooked about two minutes and then I realized that I actually wanted to roast my tomatoes. So I'm like, oh shoot, I forgot to put my tomatoes in with my shrimp. So here I'm just um, gonna rinse off a few of my grape tomatoes, get them sliced up and throw them right in the oven with the shrimp. Um, I'm going to make sure that I get them uh, get some sauce on them and since I'm roasting them with the shrimp I didn't add any salt to the tomatoes just some um, black peppercorn and um, I'm gonna pop them right back in the oven with the shrimp um, and add about a minute back to my time because it took me about a minute and a half to get these rinsed and sliced up so I did add that time back onto the cooking time when I put them back in the oven actually just got these in the mail this is the culture realm metabolism and weight management um, so it's pro probiotics that's supposed to help uh, your metabolism or the metabolism of fats carbs and proteins um, so if you're a person that suffers from bloating or like a slow metabolism you may want to check this out I have not tried it yet um, but the reviews online were really really good I could not find it in the store so this is why I had to order it directly from the cultural website and there was a 20% off coupon so I did pay about $20 shipping was free and shipping was fast I think I just ordered this Thursday and it's Monday and um, I just got it in the mail so it came pretty fast there's no caffeine there's no stimulants uh, you just take one a day um, and it does include B6 and B12 so I will be giving this a shot I'll give myself like a week and see if I feel a difference or not but wanted to pop on and share that too so now everything is done cooking um, 
I did go ahead and put my quinoa on the plate and went ahead and put my spinach on the plate as well. Next, I'm just gonna go ahead and get my tomatoes and add those on as well. So um, in hindsight, after I made this, I probably um, going forward will add much more greens because it is actually supposed to be more of like a salad. So I probably will put my greens, like a layer of greens first. Um, and then everything else on on top, but um, it was still really good. But definitely can add some more veggies. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and add my cucumbers, um, and then after this, gonna add my boiled egg and sprinkle with some uh, more black pepper, and then just my dressing over top. This was so good. Um, if you're looking for something healthy, something like very fulfilling and oh my god it was a it was a good way to get my veggies in for the day so especially getting my greens in for the day and some protein so I definitely recommend um, giving this a try if you want to if you're getting bored with like the usual lunches or feel like you're eating the same old thing so um, I really really enjoyed it and um, yeah hopefully you'll you'll give it a try So I did buy avocado, um, but I think my avocado might have not been ripe yet. So like when I cut it, it was more yellow and not green. So I decided not to put it on um, my bowl today and let it ripe, ripen up um, for tomorrow. But I, I do have a few. Um, but I did also have the boiled egg on the plate as well so I felt like it might have been okay and let me know like I when I I actually don't buy avocados a lot I will just buy the guacamole because I feel like it's like like a shortcut so if this is how it's supposed to look like let me know The dressing tastes way better, like with everything all together. Um, I think I would probably like want to try like a, some different greens, like arugula or um, what's the other one? Uh, like a spring mix. The tomatoes, everything is like seasoned. I didn't add any additional salt. I did do a sea salt on my egg, eggs and um, my cucumbers but I didn't do any sea salt on my tomatoes because they were on the tray with the shrimp so that they had the tomatoes just had pepper and they have the olive oil and the seasoning from the shrimp skewers and then um I put some some onion crisp on there because I couldn't find like I forgot to get onion so I just grabbed the the crisp but yeah this was this is really good um Hopefully I captured enough where it's easy to reproduce or to make this. So, but yeah, this is good. I'm gonna finish my bowl. Thank you all for tuning in another for another video and um, I'll see you next time.